Uh, you said that's your son's truck? That's my son's truck. He's 22 years old. 22? Yeah. So what, what year? This is a brand new 2020 brand or what? 20, 2021. 2021? Automatic, 3 10 base, fully loaded, uh, custom order. Um, I paid uh, 195 for it. 195? Yeah. What? Yeah. This is my truck here. That's my truck here, yeah. That's bad ass. That's Miss Becky and Miss Sarah. He says what? That's, this is Miss Becky and that's Miss Sarah. Miss Becky and that's Sarah. That's yeah. what's up, dude. Yeah. That's what's up. One ninety five for this? Yeah, it came like this, or y'all did everything no, no, yourself? No, no, I bought a stock and I put everything on it. Wow. Uh, lights, uh, the, 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 the visor, back, quarter pair lowered it. I lowered it from the front. I lowered it by reefer. My reefer's an old five. Reefer, so. Wow, man. man. California, that's California boy, that's how we do. Good morning. I think I'll let Jay tell y'all the story about this morning. About how we spent $150 when we needed to spend $150. Uh, we needed one of these. Benny, 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 Benny decided to get the big one. He wanted the big one. But then we didn't realize that you have to get up to the battery. So we tried to take it back, but they don't do refunds. So we had to exchange. So this was forty dollars. The big one was a hundred and forty something. One hundred fifty eight. One hundred fifty dollars. So we had to get this, and then a whole bunch of other random shit that you put up to one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, and we were sitting in there for a hot minute, a hot minute. And then he was telling me, "Oh, you might want to see because he, the guy, the manager there, Dylan." He was new. Oh. He was like, you might want to wait for my other manager to come in at seven. I'm like, mm, I don't think we're staying here. Anyway, though, uh, my dad, he, he told the lady or told the broker that we was going to drop off Tuesday. We're going to, I think it's called Chris Crispus Casey's or something like that. Okay. I'm wrong like a motherfucker. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like right below Houston. It's called something something. You going to get out? On a truck. Like, I've never wanted something so bad. Like, I really want a truck. Like, it, it hurts. I, I want it so bad. I want a semi-truck so bad. Not just a regular semi-truck, like, a sexy-ass Peterbilt. Like, sexy as fuck shit. And I was even thinking just now, I'm like, if I'm really going to try to do this, I'm going to really try to go balls deep. I'm trying to get a 2021, or even if it's next year, brand new 2022 Peterbilt. Brand spanking new off the lot. $175,000, brand spanking new. I'm going to I'm gonna try to shoot for the stars. I made on my Instagram, you know, like y'all definitely check out my Instagram, how shot Benny two and two eyes, same thing with my YouTube. When I posted, you really it's something about like what did I say? Um growth happens when you're tired of your own shit. I ain't doing nothing wrong, but right now I'm tired of my own shit. It's like I'm tired of waiting around looking at trucks on the internet when I know what I need to do to look at my fucking truck. It's gonna take some time, but I'm tired of my own shit. I'm tired of waiting around. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. Who that from? I don't know. Sound like some slave shit. <laughs> 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 When Jade first came out with me, which if y'all don't know, my girlfriend name is Jade. When she first came on the road with me, probably about a couple miles back, like right when you come through Louisiana into Baymont, I think it's Baymont, uh, we broke down in my 2016 truck, Victoria. And when I say we broke down, like, it was something with the alternator, which it was an easy fix. But it was my first trip out by myself alone. Um, and like, you know, of course, my dad being who he is, he didn't want me to go out there by myself. So good thing is the pandemic just started and my girlfriend was able to come on the road with me. So uh, we broke down. It was hot, hot, hot and humid. It was sticky and it was the middle of the night. 
and literally my whole truck just went haywire. The lights, uh, I was losing power, everything. Um, we got off into the high, like all my lights was off too, so I had to turn my hat. Huh? Yeah. So I had to turn my hatches on, right? And then I had to get off and get off the get off the highway and go find me a truck stop, which was luckily there was a truck stop like 10 minutes away. So when I got off the highway, my truck literally started dying as soon as we got into the actual parking lot. And luckily, where I parked that, there was no trucks there, and it was easy for me to back into my space and not take up multiple spaces. Like I couldn't see y'all. It was pitch black. I had no lights on my truck. I just had to wing it. And when I finally parked, she just died. The truck just died. And we slept in that truck all night, and it was hot. We had the, we had the windows, like, cracked. Uh, we damn near slept naked, right? Yeah. I think we had underwear and stuff on, but we slept basically naked in the truck. She came on multiple trips after that. We went to Colorado and Utah and New York. She done seen a lot of shit so far. So. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, like, that was my first trip or her first experience on the road with me. And it wasn't a good experience. Well, it was a good experience. We had fun. Yeah. She orders everything that she orders, what right? What you have? Meatloaf, macaroni, uh, greens, right? Then she sees me order what I order, right? <laughs> so this is what I ordered. How's she gonna ask me for my corn? Girls or something? Yeah. Well, I got two more hours to drive. I've already put a loves into my location to actually finish off the night with. Um, she's talking to her friends right now. I guess they're missing her. And we just got done eating. I had some meatloaf. Um, I had some macaroni. I, gotta I had some. We're out staying home with Father and Dad. Speaking of me. I'll try it, come on. <sighs> huh? Limeade. Where did all these trucks come from? It feels so good out here. So good. Coming from that fucking brick cold ass shit we be in. Right, snowing one day, fucking sunny. This shit feels great. This shit feels great. This is winter in Texas. It's early in the morning. Early in the morning, of course, you know, Jade had to go take a piss. Uh, I told her to go get some breakfast too while she wanted to go pee. Good thing is we're only about 15 minutes away from our first drop. It is now 7.16 in the morning. We are in, I keep forgetting the name, y'all. I love it when people get behind me, man. I guess they assume that because I'm a hot shot, it's gonna take, it's gonna go by quick with me. Nah, buddy. You should have went behind him. You should have went behind him. They're in a uh, safety corporate meeting. She making fun of me because I eat stuff like this. Disgusting. When you out here on the road, sometimes you ain't got no time to stop and go get you some steak, no burgers. He had McDonald's this morning. And if she wasn't here, I wouldn't have McDonald's. I wouldn't have had McDonald's. I would have had this right here. I came here, these guys are taking forever to unload me. So I figure out who needs to unload me. So I'm like, you know what, it's time to eat. No. <laughs> she gonna thank me when our popcorns happens and all we got is SpaghettiOs. I come on the road with him, he got me doing a fucking lie. Should I still pull it forward? Thank you. Do much. 
<laughs> do nothing at all. You just say yes and lie. <laughs> yeah, I could be me. from fucking. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Did I put all this work into it? <laughs> oh, so, guys, we've been here before. We got to arguing in that park petrol parking lot. Explain the whole story. Don't just say we got to arguing. And then we came and ate at this Mexican restaurant, mad at each other. Uh, we got mad at each other, or I got mad at him because we walked across the street and it was dark and it was night time. Put the windows up so you can hear. I got mad at him because we was walking across the street and it was dark and it was night time. And he was in his phone walking across the street. And I'm like, you don't know where the hell you are. Can you please be aware of your surroundings? And he caught a whole attitude with me about it. No, don't make it sound like that. What's the reason why I caught attitude? He called attitude. He's like, I know where I am. I've been here before, but I'm like, I understand that, but that doesn't mean that these people, these people don't give a fuck. It could have changed since you've been here. When is the last time you've been here? Oh but yeah, gosh. we were here and then we walked across the street and ate at this Mexican restaurant. And it was pretty good. It was yeah. actually really good. Not pretty good. It was really good. Yeah. Actually, did we get alcohol? We got drinks too. Yeah, we did get some good drinks. It was pretty good though. You just got a little bit more training to go through. Like, you're going through orientation right now. And am I really confident in your orientation right now? Well, Not really. I'll... But, but I'm going to give you a chance because I feel like, you know, you can fulfill this position. Right, but my training has not been very adequate at all. Can I make a complaint on training? Uh, um... <clears throat> no, you can't make a complaint on the training. It doesn't work like that. It definitely does work like that. It doesn't work like that. Alrighty, boss. All that up. Dispatch. I'll be right back, okay? Let me go get it low right quick, okay? I've been doing my thing. Know it all. He's in the If y'all haven't gotten that by now, he's definitely in know it all. <laughs> he's gonna see this when he's editing and be like, this, this bitch. But he is sometimes. I know it all, but it's okay. Because he does know a lot of information. I can't stay the same. Also, I'm gonna show you his little his little makeshift um, gear switch. Don't mind the mess, but this is his makeshift gear shifter right here. This is, he's been sitting here with his hand on here and just shifting gears and shit. He's such a kid, but yeah, that's what it is. All I know is go.